off. Today is day 263 of the year of streaming and learning to code. We are continuing on here at Free Code Camp. We are in the midst of, let's see, which challenge? The challenge we are continuing on from last night, Pig Latin. In fact, we also have a handy guide, tiny cat, tiny cat. Let's uh let's just go ahead and, and reset our code. Maybe should we reset? Well, technically I was hovering over reset, but little kitty just walked over the trackpad. So yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and clear that. Good sign. Good sign. So what's that? Okay, look, you get you get a couple scratches, because clearly you're into that. Oh, who's a good little kitty? You are. Yeah, you are. Uh, we are looking for the handy guide submitted to... Uh, no, 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 no. Look, Kat, you are, you are very... In, you were napping for the last, like, 20, 30 minutes. Just go back to your nap spot. Yeah, right there. Good, good, good. You stay there. Uh, we are looking for... A link... That Kosi sent us. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Let's try this one. Beautiful. Beautiful. And he sent us two links. However, I I kind of am interested in both. Now, whether they both work out of the box, we didn't get a chance to test last night. That's what we will be doing today. Uh, I believe the code we're going to end up submitting is going to be this where we can leverage regular expressions however this is much closer to what i initially envisioned with the for loops and the if statements and all that good stuff so i kind of want to try both now i had some if loopy disaster going on last night along with all the technical issues. So let's let's see if we can get off to a better start today. Now, going through, I don't think we're actually going to type this one out, but now that we can reflect upon it with, uh, with audio, we can go ahead and do that. So function translate word, variable array word split. So they're splitting it into an array, which is what we did. We needed to set up a vowel array to loop through, and we didn't do that. We tried to cram everything into our if statement. It was just this awful, towering, hideous block of code, and it was it was bad times. Variable new word for variable i in vowels, so it's going to loop through all that, and then along with for variable y, which would be the word length, uh, which would be uh, the word, yeah, the length of word. Interesting. He's not even warp, uh, looping through, let's see, looping? Yeah, looping through array. He's looping through word, which is still fine. I mean, there's nothing, nothing wrong with that. That's very cool and clever. But the condition, if word y equals vowel i... And then inside if, he's got variable x, if x equals y, if x is less than word length, blah, 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 new word will be updated with new word plus word x. Interesting. And another for loop. For Four loops. That is, I never, I never would have got there. After two, I would have started second guessing myself, and then halfway through the if statement, maybe even before, it would have just turned into tears and frustration. And there's no way I would have had the confidence to survive and figure out that I would have needed four for loops uh, to successfully pull that off. Uh, anyways, the last for loop variable n and y. The the x equals y and now we're doing n equals y this is i just it wouldn't have been me 
I would have thrown the keyboard through the through the monitor and that would have been that. New word equals plus new word n. All right, and then we're returning new word plus a. So clever, so very, very clever. Now, the updated, sleeker, more efficient, far more straightforward, just as understandable, uh, and probably better in every single way, is the regular expression version, which we have here, with a basic if, else if, very cool, love, love the else if, I never get to use those enough, so I'm glad we get to throw that in for today, tagging in all that goodness, so let's kind of go line by line for this as well, function translate word, tag, is an empty string, ready and waiting to receive all kinds of fun. Variable position, which is word.search, A-E-I-O-U. We're ignoring the case, so it's case insensitive. If position equals zero, return, and so if position, which is this, A-E-I-O or U, so if it's a vowel at zero, then we return word and then way at the end. Otherwise, we take else if position is greater than zero, greater than zero or not at the first spot. The way I'm reading it is that it's at zero in the string, kind of like an array. I could be crazy, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, tag word. I wonder why it's position greater than zero. Uh, actually, I'm wondering, yeah, I wonder why it's else if with position greater than zero versus just else. And then all of this fun. Word slice from zero to position. A E I R U. Oh, it slice. It starts cutting from zero, and then it goes all the way when it's uh, all the way to the first um, vowel. So it's slicing. This is the magic that tells you to slice the group of consonants. Very cool. Very clever. Word slice zero all the way to positions, which really, and I think we'll probably call it vowel for ours. Again, we're, we're going to basically bring this over. We'll reconstruct it on our side, but with tags similar to that change, vowel um, that we feel a bit more comfortable with. But nevertheless, pretty damn cool. Uh, thank you again, Kosi, for, for this handy both versions, actually. Uh, return word dot slice position tag a all right so whoa, whoa whoa word with slice no 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 this is different this is word slice starting from position the vowel and we're tagging on tag is the group of consonants with a because this top portion is for when it starts with a vowel and then this is for words that start with a consonant or a group of consonants uh, and then console log california good times so let's go ahead and start to reconstruct this nightmare over here for ours uh and once more for shits and giggles since technically we didn't get to read it out loud yesterday except for stupid highlighting technique which was about as good as we could do uh story time yeah so translate the provided string to pig latin pig latin takes the first consonant or consonant cluster of an English word, moves it to the end of a word suffix, and adds a. If it begins with a vowel, you just add way to the end. Input strings 
are guaranteed to be English words in all lowercase. I did that. I didn't even focus on that last night. I should have, but again, wasn't reading out loud. I was just pretending to highlight through crap, apparently. Uh, so yeah, that's that's huge. Because last night I was adding in all of the capital versions. I started with all lowercase. Actually, my first run through with my if conditions was all capital vowels, but I saw everything here was lowercase. So then I swapped them all for lowercase, but then I added on capitals afterwards. It was a huge, ugly fiasco. Then at that point, Topher threw out that I should really consider regular expressions. Uh, and then it uh, shortly after that, Kosi provided us with the handy links to to their friendly, effective guide. Pig Latin goodness, blah, blah, blah. Same spiel as what is in the instructions. Continuing on. So, input strings are guaranteed to be English words in all lowercase. Remember to use read, search, ask if you get stuck. Try to pair program and write your own code. Here's some helpful links. They recommend using an index of, push, join, substring, and split, potentially. More likely, though, we're going to follow this. So two variables. Tag would be, I'm going to call it consonants, and then the second variable will be blah, vowels. So... Not the best looking or shortest variable names true. Tag is much more succinct. But nevertheless, consonant is what we will be dealing with. There's that. Also, uh, we'll set up variable vowel as well equals and before we throw that nightmare together well it's string well hold on not string i was gonna split it but we're not splitting it just yet uh let's let's look at this down here the example test cases translate california should return california k translate pig latin paragraphs should return paragraphs pay Interesting. Translate pig Latin glove of 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 glay. Hmm. Thank God we don't have to speak this as our native tongue. Translate pig Latin algorithm should be algorithm way. And again, when it starts with a vowel, the whole thing, the whole word comes out as normal, and you put way at the end versus when you've got a consonant or a group of consonants, multiples, G and L, P moves to the end of the word and you just add A or the whole group of consonants gets added to the end along with A. Uh, and lastly, eight. So that was a single oh well, you know what i was going to say it was a single vowel here for algorithms and a group of vowels for eight but that still doesn't matter it starts with a vowel therefore way is simply added to the end so continuing on vowel stuff right we need to set up the regular expression for this it's string is it dot search a e i o u we could add i but in reality since they now told us input strings are guaranteed to all be in lowercase we actually don't need the i no downside to adding it way more effective if we had it ah uh, in brackets Brackets, interesting. We should do brackets. D D D D D D D D. Bracket stuff. Bracket stuff. D D D D D D D D. Brackets. 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 Now, continuing on. If stuff. So if vowel 
is equal to zero. Did we actually remember that correctly? Word dot search, blah, blah, blah. String dot search, blah, blah, blah. Awesome, awesome. Uh, if position is equal to zero. If if something or other. Ah, so we aren't using position because we're updating everything to variables and phrases that are a bit more applicable and on the nose, easier for my mind to follow. Again, monkey see, monkey do. It's just the other generic variables my mind wanders has nothing to grab onto versus when I call it consonant and vowel, I know specifically what data is being dealt with. And uh, yeah, just peace of mind, really. Peace of mind. Uh, if vowel is equivalent to, we should do three. I'm going to stick with two just because. And curliness. Hey, aqua. Uh, the things you put in search is a regular expression. Might be fun read if you don't know about them yet. Oh yeah, no, we've, we have encountered regular expressions Um Probably to the point where I should have a much better understanding of them. It's just instinctively, I like to do more. Uh, let's see, where, let's find his link. More. I don't know, I want to say direct, straightforward codes with for loops and if statements. Because here, again, I can see, similar to the variable names being straightforward, in my mind, for lack of a better phrase, going having the for loops and the if statements, it, it's very caveman-ish and simple. And I can see the data being changed and what is exactly happening versus a lot of the challenges, especially at Code Wars, use these one-liner regular expressions, and it'll be all of this and more crammed into a one-liner that looks like this with a regular expression, and uh, it's just, it seems like black magic. This one, uh, the problem is straightforward enough, and... There's been a handful of encounters with regular expressions where they don't, they still, seem, they still seem straightforward enough to me. They don't seem so clever, for lack of a better phrase. It seems like a trick. It's an awesome and powerful tool. I'm not quite there yet to fully utilize it every single time, but this is, this is pretty straightforward. We're searching for these things, so even Steven can figure that out. So, uh, good, good times. Uh, let's see, what are we looking for? Live with Brandon. No offense, but you sound like a nerd so hardcore right now. Uh, and that's no offense at all because I totally appreciate that. So good, good times. We, we aim to please. That's, that's taken many years of honing to get to that point. So, yeah, good times. Uh, Aqua, there are typos in that snippet. Word X will return in error, I believe. Fair enough. Uh, live with Brandon. It is awesome, man. <laughs> Nerd people unite. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Word X, am I the one who screwed stuff up? And that's okay. If there's issues, this was a close enough guide where everything... It, it's far better than the nightmare. This is actually day two of this uh, whole challenge. Yesterday we had some technical technical difficulties. Uh, we had no audio and webcam. It was I couldn't really pinpoint it. I ended up just restarting my computer, which I should have done yesterday. But we start the the stream so late at night. It was minutes before midnight, so we just dove into the stream problems and 
technical issues at hand and just forged ahead. So day 262 needed to happen, hell or high water. So we just pushed on and did our stream in silence, uh, but people still helped out. That's co This is uh, Kosi's guide from yesterday, so greatly appreciated. Uh, and we're just kind of following along and, and recreating it with our, our own twist. Mainly variables, but uh, good times. So, uh, live with Brandon. I'm learning Python at the moment. Good times. We've we've dabbled with Python. Hey, BDX Inc., would you like to learn Python for free for games? I could be, I would be down for that. The only place that we've really uh, learned Python so far is at Code Academy. It was good, and I believe they've updated this summer, which was, I mean, we're kind of phasing out of summer now. It is the beginning, later part of September. So, uh, but a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago, they did a pretty large update to Code Academy in general and a lot of their courses. I think Python uh, was one of the courses that actually got updated, but the site as a whole got a big interface update and uh a lot of their courses as well as they transition to a, a new system so d -d 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 -d. we were doing something with an if uh for free games all right that's uh oh um live with brandon all right that's the one i'm using code academy oh yeah no we uh that's where this journey started 263 days ago we already went through that was the first 159 days of our journey, and we went through and completed all of the, I don't know why it's a 0%. Again, they did a lot of updates and stuff, but we completed all the free courses that they had to offer. So, good, good times. But now they've, they've updated all kinds of stuff. See, it looks like they've reset HTML and CSS, but yeah, it was it was a good journey going through all their free stuff. They do have quite a bit of paid content, but we've done 263 days of free knowledge. So uh, that's how we ended up at Code Wars as well, which is all kind of fun. We need to finish at level 6 of Code Wars. So close. 92% of the way through just to get to level 5. We will get there. And uh, again, we're, we are pretty close to finishing out the fun end section here at Free Code Camp as well. See map. We are so, see, we've got the advanced stuff, which they're, I mean, look at that. We can see the end date of validation right here at the bottom. So very close. You know, we're, we're already, here's, here's pig Latin, search and replace, then advanced stuff. I mean, right at the edge. So we'll, we'll keep pushing through. We'll get there eventually. Close out Code Wars. Um... I don't have these courses. Should I learn Java or Python? I can't decide. Ooh, I, I'm not exactly the one to act. I, I am a master little noob. So, even in the little bit of time that you've spent with, uh, actually, I don't know. It's a little bit of time. That was. My perspe my perception of time is probably different than most, so because I consider two hundred and sixty three days still very a, a very small window and amount of time to be learning something, but that's because I'm a crazy person. Uh, so I think yeah, I got reaction Java exactly Aqua Aqua threw it out. I feel like Java is probably the better way to go because. Just from what I've seen, I haven't had a goal to, like, learn this specific language and become a developer in six months for blah reason or for a certain language. 
I started this kind of Twitch stream and I've just sort of been treading water ever since, trying to get as many different perspectives. And with the perspective I've gained, it seems like Java is still a pretty damn big language. So that's that's widely used. I think Python is a, a good alternative, if you will. Um, again, see, even Code Academy's description, learn to program in Python, powerful language used by sites like YouTube and Dropbox. So YouTube was bought by Google. Kind of a big deal. Can't go wrong with Python, but maybe, maybe Java. Uh, there are plenty of people who know far more about that stuff both here in the twitch program community and just the programming community in general whether it's on the forums like code academy's forums or uh, mdn and whatnot i'm certain you can get a much better answer from far more knowledgeable people yeah see aqua boom he's the guy to ask like brand so java is better aqua aqua 15. Java is used mostly for application, rarely used for web development. I meant I mean for game development. Ooh. C sharp, maybe? Any of the C languages? Possibly JavaScript. But I, I'm pretty sure. I think C is used for game developments. Again, I'm crazy and have no idea. Uh, let's close out of that and kind of refocus on task at hand, right? We are, we are very close to conquering said challenge. B -d 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 -d. So, if position at zero or variable for us, return Let's go down and chat. I see all kinds of fun. Um, Python's widely used for web dev to scripts, but not as powerful by far. Like Brandon, so can Java be used for games? Oh, for game dev, go for Java or C sharp. Aha! See, my guess was right. Well, guess. Hunch. Again, it's that general perspective we've acquired in our little bit of time in the programming. Um, they're easy to learn and both have a game engine. Yeah, Minecraft is written in Java. Shocked. Shocked face from Brandon. Okay, I'm going Java and C Sharp. Uh, Unity uses C Sharp. Jmonkey Engine uses Java. I haven't used Jmonkey Engine, so I can't see how good it is. And I've only used tutorial sites like Codeademy and Free Code Camp, so I'm definitely not the one to ask. At least not the one to ask first. We are looking, not returning that, not returning that. There's a dollar sign in our future, pretty sure. Not paycheck, but literally. Boom. Dollar, right? Something? Yeah. In quote stuff. Dollar word way. Dollar. Was it brackets or braces? Word way. It was braces. Clever. Followed by else if. You know, just like regular expressions, we never get to use else if enough. Uh, BDX, uh, you were dropping frames like crazy, cutting out voice and video. Damn, okay, well that's not good. Uh, at least we're nearing the end, so the stream almost over. Again, it might be the technical issues from yesterday. Who knows? I was running into uh, again, no audio and no webcam yesterday, so hopefully we're able to piece this together very quickly. Worst case, we've seen a glimpse of what's come for the solution. 
and it's been at least like 20 minutes or so for uh for the string, so we're, we're good. But we will be powering down the string soon as soon as we knock this out. So bad frames will uh we'll just have to deal with it for now. But else if were uh not we want vowel. So not uh string, we want string. My bad, string. String is what we wanted. So string position that would be word uh vowel is greater than uh vowel is below zero. String way else if vowel is greater than zero. Vowel is greater than zero. And uh let's see. Let's see tag which is consonant. A long vowel for a little bit of data, but that or a long variable for a little bit of data, but that's that's what we're working with. So we will have consonant equals vowel dot slice. Uh, no, consonant equals string dot slice vowel. Look at that. Consonant equals string dot slice is from zero to vowel. See how that looks when it's all spelled out with straightforward variables? Even a fool like me can understand what's happening. Ugh, love it. Hell yeah. Uh, we don't need, we don't need curly braces. What we do need is more code in here, though. So, continuing on, now we will be returning all inside quotes, like so, ta-da, dollar, we string, slice, vowel, consonant, A. Okay, bear with me. Two dollar signs for that. Yeah. Yeah, shit's gonna get wild. Voice is cutting out like mad. Damn, Brendan Live. Thank you for letting us know, though. Hold on, it, it's probably not gonna change anything. Let me see if muting mic will do anything at all. And then unmute it, but... Flicking the crap out of my mic probably did nothing, but I want to mute it, so. Who knows? Fingers crossed, maybe magic flicking will solve all of our problems. Wildly unlikely, but uh, we're so close to the end. We're so close to the end. It's like a really bad flip book. Just think of it as a bad flip book with the dropping frames. Check OBS at the bottom. You're right, you're right. It actually still says zero dropped frames, 0.0%. 0 .0%. Uh, however, is it normal for someone's CPU to be at 54% when they're streaming on OBS? Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, let's hope not. All right, yeah, let's, can I, can I copy that? Oh, I can't. Yeah, yeah, so, and hopefully it didn't drop out, but yeah, it, uh, dropped frames are zero. Zero point zero percent, but, but, you know, live and record and blah, 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 live. Time stuff, record, time stuff, and then CPU, get ready for this. Yeah, ooh. 
54.3%. That can't be good, right? That can't be healthy. Alright, so... But we'll get there. We'll get there. And it sucks... Sucks because I only have a dual core. A five, yeah, yeah, and an old one. Old one. So, four and a half are busy. Brutal. Brutal. Okay, we're so close. We've got a dollar with braces and then another dollar with more braces, and this is something, isn't it string with a slicer, uh, that's Mac for you, right, right, it is, I agree, see, see, brutal, brutal, yeah, yeah, see, uh, right apple, exactly, exactly. See, let let's let's go to. We'll revel in the 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 specs of my nonsense. E d d d d d d light it i d d d d d d d d d d d d d Yeah, when I get a new computer for streaming, it it's gonna be a PC. It's gonna be a PC. It's just, it's the only way to really pull it off. Oh dear God. Why is it so slow? Just abort, abort. Bad times, finish out the frustration, be that guy. Be that guy. We're so close. We are so very, very close. Um, inside the dollar, we will have string slice vowel. String dot slice vowel. And here, we will have, I believe, consonant A. Copy, consonant A. Now, at this point, we get to return. Well, actually, that's what we will be returning. Let's get rid of you. Return and semicolon with a semicolon. Ta B D D D D D. Okay. Okay. Uh, B D D D D. -d oh God. Oh God. All right. Uh. Brendan, I moved completely off Apple products in the last month. Langley UK, does free code camp support ES6? It may, Langley, it may. I'm not certain. Uh, I would hope it does, but I'm, I'm not even sure how to verify. Uh, Brendan Live, well, I used to use Windows for most computer stuff anyways, since, uh, since I'm a .NET dev, but I had an iPhone, MacBook, and iPad. Oh, you... Fully converted. Wow, good for you. No, I've, I've still got my iPhone and Mac. I used to have my iPad, but I got rid of that. Um, I've had a couple iPads, but anywho, so. Uh, Aqua. Linux is greater than Windows. Windows is greater than Apple. I use Windows. Don't call me a Linux fanboy. <laughs> See, I want to get into Linux. I, I don't even know where to begin, though. Uh, brand meh. I like Apple for anything programming but .NET, C++. 
ASM. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and run this. Run. Boom. Question? No. Bad. Bad, Steven. Did I miss something? It's my fault. I broke it. Steven broke the internet. Is this that ES6 question you were asking about? It very well could be. It very well could be. Hmm. Run. Sack of death. Dollar blank syntax is ES6. Ah, not sure free code cam supports it. If it does, then double quotes need to be back ticks. Interesting. So that's what those were. Holy shit. It was a real thing. I thought those were single quotes, but look, they're different. Back ticks. Langley saves the day. Kosky gets an assist from, from Langley. Oh, look at that. You guys are rock stars. Where are the juices? The back Oh, wow. You know what? I've hit that key like four times in my life. Huh. Look at that. What do you know? It's the, it's the, the back, back tick. So that's what that thing is called underneath the tilde key. Yeah. No one's, no one's using that enough. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Little kitty. Did you see that? We got, we got to use the back tick. Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. Look at that. Look at that. So, back tick. Huh. Sounds like something you need to have surgically removed. A back tick, right? You know? My dog was going to the woods and it got a back tick now we gotta take it to the vet interesting well let's try that ka freaking boom on i don't even know how to say that uh on uh oh wow well it's consonants so this would be onsonant k oh that noise god we're never gonna break that code sonic freaking boom Damn straight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try one of the other ones. Let's do uh let's do paragraphs because we can. Run. Ha ha ha. Uh paragraphs. Hey. Ah, oh, this is great. Little kitty, you wanna try? Ah, she doesn't care. She's sleeping. Way cool. Well, thank you. Thank you, Lang, uh, Langley, for for clearing that up. The back tick nightmare slash fiasco. We greatly appreciate that. Otherwise, we'd be stuck there with with Cozy's beautiful code until we figured out that we literally needed to use the uh, the actual back ticks, and we learned something. Back ticks. So, and the actual word that they were using here for their initial test was consonant. So we'll set the back into action. Sonic boom. Let's, let's submit that and go forth. And then we can back out of this with all the uh, choppiness to the stream, the drop frames, and lagginess. We'll go ahead and back out to our profile. Thank you again. To anyone and everyone who stopped by to view the stream and or assist, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, another hat tip to Kosi for hooking us up with their handy guide for us to follow. Extremely helpful. Also, let's see, who else do we have today in chat? We had Aqua, live with Brandon. We also had Brandon live. And only UK. What a cool. Good, good times. 
All right, let's jump out of Freeco Camp into OBS. We'll go ahead, stop the stream. Uh, day something, day 263 comes to an end. Uh, the adventure continues tomorrow, the day 264 of the year of streaming and learning to code. In the meantime, are you sure you want to stop the stream? Oh yeah, kill it!